Hello, uh, let us now know how to do the surface marking of the pleura and its reflections. You know pleura is the covering of the lung. You have two lungs, right lung and left lung. So, for the surface marking of the pleura, you need to know four things. First one is the pleural reflections. That means in front the reflection that is the costomediational reflection in front, the costodiaphragmatic reflection below and costovertebral reflection behind and also the pleura covering the apex of the lung that is the cervical pleura. So these four things you need to know. Of these four, the surface marking is same on both the sides in three aspects that is the cervical pleura in both the sides it is same. The costo-diaphragmatic reflection is same and posteriorly the costo-vertebral reflection is same. The only difference lies in the costo-mediastinal reflection that is in the anterior aspect. So to start with let us go with the cervical pleura. Cervical pleura is the pleura covering the apex of the lung. In fact, the surface marking of cervical pleura and apex of the lung both are same. Right. So, for the cervical pleura, to mark the cervical pleura, you need to locate the corresponding sternoclavicular joints. So, this is the left sided sternoclavicular joint, this is right sided sternoclavicular joint. That is the first point. Second point is measure the distance of the clavicle and divide it into three parts, medial one third and lateral two thirds, roughly considering the distance. This is the point that is the junction between the medial one thirds and lateral two thirds. Similarly on this side, this is the second point. First point is sternoclavicular joint. Second point is junction between medial one third and lateral two thirds. Third point is midway between the two, that means 2.5 centimeters above. <coughs> so, this is a 2.5 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters above the, that means here 2.5 centimeters above and midway between the two. <coughs> Join these three with an upward convexity like this. So, this is a left sided cervical pleura this is the right sided cervical pleura. Is it clear? Now coming to the costomediastinal reflection of right pleura. So first point is right sided sternoclavicular joint. Second point is middle of sternal angle. Sternal angle is this one because it is coinciding with the second rib. Third point is along the midline at the level of the fourth coastal cartilage. This is a fourth coastal cartilage. This is a third point. And fourth point is right ziphysternal joint. So, if you join this, join the first point with second point with a downward running downwards and medially. Second point to sixth point, the third point vertically straight and vertically straight. So, this rep represents the costo mediational reflection of right pleura. Coming to the left side, costomediastinal reflection of the left pleura, first point is left sternoclavicular joint, first point is left sternoclavicular joint, second point is middle of the sternal angle, third point is same like that of the uh, right side that is the at the level of the fourth coastal cartilage in the midline. And the fourth point is at the ziphysternal joint along the left sternal margin. It is at the ziphysternal joint on the right side. Along the left edge of the sternum at the level of the ziphysternal joint is fourth point. So join this and the lower one it is slight convexity to the left. So this is the costomediastinal reflection of the left pleura. Now coming to the costo-diaphragmatic reflection on either sides, in the mid-clavicular line, measure the distance of the clavicle, measure the distance of the clavicle, so this is the mid-clavicular line, along the mid-clavicular line, 
locating the this is sixth rib this one is seventh and this one is eighth eighth rib in the mid clavicular line similarly eighth rib on this side sixth seventh eighth eighth rib in the mid clavicular line measuring the this thing join these two then again follow this on in the mid axillary line to the 10th rib locate the 10th rib similarly on both the sides and join this this completely reflects the costo diaphragmatic reflection on the anterior aspect to know the costo vertebral reflection which is on the posterior side of the body you need to mark two points first point is Uh, at the level of C7, two centimeters lateral to the C7 spine, and the second point is two centimeters lateral to T12 spine. Join this vertically. That represents the costo vertebral reflection of the pleura. This mid axillary point is joined with the lower one. That is the two centimeters lateral to T12. This overall represents the surface marking of the. plura on both the sides thank you